Hi everyone. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about creating the career or creating your pathway, creating your opportunities. So the current position that I'm in right now did not exist several years ago. There are many things that I have created uh, during my career pathway that I want to share with you. And hopefully by viewing all of my videos, you've had some ideas on how to do that on your own. So number one, as I talked about before, is you need to know yourself and what you love to do, what you're good at, and what you care about. That's really important to creating your own pathway. So I'll give you an example. When, um, ever since I was young, I was always interested in music and I loved music. And I think I was fairly good at it. I was um, accompanying at various con uh, choirs throughout my high school and university years. And it's something that I wanted to build, maybe not as a primary career, but something that I wanted to do on the side. So as my little ones started to grow, I decided to teach them piano and teach them my joy for music. And through them, I realized that this is something that I really enjoyed doing. And then their friends would come over and they say, oh, you have a piano at home. I want to learn piano. And so organically, through my mom's network and the school network, I acquired some piano students and some music students that I hosted at my home. And it wasn't something that I said, oh, I want to create this music school and I want to have hundreds of students attend. It was something that I was doing one student at a time. And the other part that was a little bit different from, I guess, a traditional classical piano teacher was I really encouraged self-expression and creativity and composition. And that's something that was unique to me. That was different from other piano teachers. So I would always leave maybe five minutes of the classical sort of technical piano time with the composition time at a very young age. And I remember this one boy who came into the, the studio one day and he didn't look very good. And I said, what's wrong? And he said, I'm stressed. I said, you're only eight years old. How can you be stressed? So I asked him, let's take a break. And then when you come back, I want you to just play whatever you're feeling in the key of C, and I'll join you in the, with the bass line. So he did that. And after that, he felt better. We named the song. We wrote the song out on, um, on, on sheets, on music sheets. And that way the student is motivated to express themselves, but also to learn how to write the notes on the sheet. So let's extrapolate that to my current career. It's not something that I said after my PhD, I'm going to be director of graduate professional development. But it, again, it's something that I was always uh, interested in, even as a PhD student. So during my PhD, I realized there's not a lot of resources for students that don't want to become um, an academic. And so, some colleagues and I decided to figure out what they were. So I started young, and then during my postdoc and during my professional years as a biotech scientist, I would always give back, and it's something that I was always interested in. So again, it's something that I liked to do and something that I cared about. And it was during one of these talks, back to my alma mater, where my radical collaboration or my uh, key, I guess, player to bring it back into graduate education, Dr. Reinhard Reitmeier was in the audience, which started this program. And again, it wasn't something that I wanted to, you know, start, oh, I want to start this national program, but it was something I wanted to start with one student at a time. And so it started with one pilot course, which ended up going really well, and that blossomed into a part-time um, job and that blossomed into a full-time job because it started, it was going very well and now I am also working with a faculty of medicine 
and the GLSE office. So creating your career is not something you can do overnight. It's not something that um, you can really, you know, plan for at an early age in saying that's the job I'm going to apply to because all of your jobs are probably not even created yet. You're going to be creating those jobs. But how do you do that is knowing what you love to do, knowing what you're good at, and then doing something that you care about. And with a PhD and a master's and a graduate degree, um, you will be able to be involved with higher education in, or um, in bioeconomy or bioscience that you want to be involved in. So as a student, what can you do? So as a student, there are a few initiatives that have started because of sort of the spark that I give students in the class. So for example, one student said, well, I'm in a satellite hospital and there's no network there. There's no professional development programming there because it's far removed from the main campus. So he decided he's going to take that hole in the system and make that an opportunity. So that's a lesson as well, is if you feel something is missing, then you can take that as an opportunity to create something yourself. So he went and formed um, what is now the Sunnybrook Network and the Sunnybrook Peer Network. And now they have professional development programming, they invite guests over, and there's a sense of community out there. Another example are some students felt, well, I want to write about my science. I want to write about what's happening in the department, but there was no medium to do that. So then again, they took that as an opportunity to create something on their own, and they decided to form uh, what's now Transcripts, which is a biochemistry student blog. Student seminars. That was something that the senior students wanted to help the junior students with, is to create better presentations. So then the senior students decided, well, how about if we form a peer communications team and help the students um, in a no, uh, low stakes environment and give them feedback on their student presentations. So there are various things that you can do as a student that can help you toward your career pathway. And I'll give you another example. One student said, well, I want to become a teaching professor but there's not very many in-departmental um, in um, training for students that want to do that. So he went and took a teaching in higher education course, and he brought it back to the department. And we sat down together, and he and two other students were involved with this project. And we came up with a curriculum for a teaching in higher education workshop, workshop series for faculty of medicine students. So this was all empowered by trainees, by students that wanted to do something because there was something that was lacking. So if you want to do something, you feel that there's something out there that's missing, you can be that change maker. You can create your opportunities. You have to find the players in the field already but you can drive that force and bring that opportunity to your community, to your university, and to you. Thank you.